Good morning to one and all present here. The Center for Medical and Environmental Sciences, Department of Advanced Research and Biotechnology, Loyola Institute of Frontier Energy welcomes you all for the two days national workshop on advanced AI tools for educators and researchers. Before we embark on this journey of exploration, let us commence this day of reverence with gratitude. I invite Ms. Hannah to lead us in prayer song. Arise and shine, for the light has come. Isaiah 61. Lighting the lamp is not a tradition, but an action by which we shut the door of darkness. I now invite all the respective dignitaries on the dais to light the lamp.
Thank you, Father. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Respected doctors, deans, professors, head of the department from various colleges and universities, esteemed guests and distinguished participants. I'm grateful to welcome you all for this advanced artificial intelligence workshop. We gather here today to embark on our journey of exploration and innovation in the realm of artificial intelligence applied to education and research. To commence our proceedings, I would like to invite Dr. M.C. John Milton, the head of the Department of Advanced Worlds and Biotechnology, to deliver the welcome address. Welcome, sir. Very good morning to all of you. And outside, I would like to thank God Almighty for his wonderful blessings this morning. To begin with, I would like to extend a warm welcome to for the Secretary and Correspondent of the Royal College, Reverend Dr. Gomez Jairaj, we say, I miss all of us. Father Jairaj is present in the Department of Zoology, and uh, right from the beginning, uh, ever since he took over the office of uh, Secretary and Correspondent, he has been consistently helping our department to establish state-of-the-art facilities in the laboratories, and he has been supporting our research and extension activities as well. Whenever we invite him for all our functions, he used to grace the occasion and bless all of us. In a special way, I would like to welcome our Secretary and Correspondent for this wonderful gathering this morning. I would like to extend a warm welcome to uh, Reverend Dr. Louis Avaraki Rajasi, the principal of this uh, great institution. Father represents the social sciences uh, and uh, he has been very supportive to all the initiatives of the department. And uh, when we were coming to the venue, uh, we had a big chat. He was talking about the importance of artificial intelligence. Earlier we used to worry about intelligence, now our worry is about artificial intelligence. And he was uh, making his one observation even mind cannot be replaced by anything including artificial intelligence. This is something great. I think for the two days we are going to be deliberating on this important thing that is going to be about there is no complete replacement for the brain talk. So uh, I would like to especially thank our principal for having accepted to play this occasion and it's this uh, schedule. And uh, I will welcome him for this wonderful uh, gathering today. In a special way, I would like to welcome the chief guest of uh, today's uh, uh, function, uh, Reverend Father Samuel Thomas, the alumnus of our English department, and I think uh, uh, the former head of the department of English, uh, Dr. K. Santin Samizia. And I happen to attend one of his online workshops on artificial intelligence in Telago. I think it's the 60th one, Father. The cross MD. Oh, under <laughs> means the father has become a brand ambassador of uh, artificial intelligence. And uh, in, the, in the online workshop, I, have, I was happy to note some of the participants uh, were taking part uh, more than 10 times or 15 times in this uh, AI workshop series. This is something very interesting. And some of the tools that I learned through the online uh, workshop was uh, really great. One thing was something very interesting. There is a tool that is going to be giving you, uh, if you just prompt a few keywords and it is going to generate and synthesize the entire book. Okay? And it is not going to be that difficult for us to write a book at all. But uh, we should also be worried about other tools that are going to be checking for piracy or copyright violations or uh, all these uh, uh, fraudulent practices uh, that is very much popular, becoming very popular in, in academic research and uh, 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 academic activities like. So I think uh, this, uh, not just concentrating only on the artificial tools that could be used for education research, we should also be deliberating on the implications of all of them. And that should no way minimize the human effort which is very much required in academic environment. So that point also we need to discuss. I think our Saul Thomas will be deliberating more on, more on this particular possible implications of it. Artificial intelligence of today. And in a special way, I would like to extend a warm welcome to the director of Loyola Institute of Frontier Energy, 
our former head of the department, our, our, my teacher, and he is a teacher of many past uh, faculty members here, uh, Dr. Salman Ayyub. And uh, today, Department of Zoology is going to reach uh, the magic mark of 250 PhDs. And uh, in the 250 number, this, this contribution is something great. He, he alone has produced more than 35. So I think I would like to especially thank uh, Dr. Salman Ayyub for his wonderful presence today. I am able to see a lot of new faces here. I think many of you have visited from other institutions from Chennai, from outside Chennai. In a special way, I would like to extend a warm welcome to all the faculty members of other uh, educational institutions of the city and uh, PG, UG, and the research students and our own students uh, for this wonderful gathering. Hope you learn uh, fantastic things about the applications of our visual presence. I a special word of welcome to all the faculty members of the Zoology Department for, uh, I would like to thank the Director for the wonderful, for the wonderful contribution to the growth of the department. So finally, to conclude, I would like to extend a warm welcome to all of you and let this uh, deliberations of the two-day uh, workshop be fruitful to all of us. Thank you, one another. As Sir was mentioning, there were many participants, so I wish to mention uh, the total number of participants. We have uh, about more than 250 participants, which includes head of the departments, deans, research scholars, and research supervisors, from our city colleges as well as from other states and as well as from other districts of Tamil Nadu. So, thank you all for your active participation. Now it's time to honor our respective dignitaries on the dais. I request Reverend Dr. V. Jairaj, the Secretary and Correspondent of Loyola College to honor our Chief Guest, Sabu Thomas, with a shawl. And I also request our principal, Father A. Louis Arikenaj, to hand over a memento to Father Sabu Thomas. I request our M. Selman Aydan, Director of Light, to honor Reverend Dr. B. Jairaj Father with a memento. And I also request Sir to hand over a memento to Father Principal also. Now I request Dr. M. C. John Milton Sir to honor Dr. M. Selvan Aigam Sir with a memento. Dr. V. Pushparani to honor our head of the department, Dr. M. C. John Milton, with a memento. <coughs> I would like to invite Father Chairman, Secretary, and Correspondent of Loyola College to honor our students who helped us in the media assistance, Mr. Kishore, Mr. Rikish Stonegold, and Mr. Kavilan. Manikam, the director of Tamil Nadu Open University among us, I requested uh, for the principal to give a moment to sir. Finally, I request for the principal Sir to honor our convener Dr. V. Pushparani with a moment to. Dr. M. Selman Ayam sir to honor Anthony Samuel, Dr. Anthony Samuel with a moment sir. Sir, please. <coughs> Thank you, sir. It's a great joy to have the AI man with us. He is the man who has trained hundreds and hundreds of faculties. I think I can say thousands of faculties from, from various fields using AI tools in India as well as in abroad. I now invite Dr. M. Selvan Aigam, the Director of Life, uh, Loyola Institute of Frontier Energy, to introduce our chief guest to the gathering.
honorable members on the dais, of the dais, student participants, and ladies and gentlemen. It gives me great pleasure to introduce the speaker of the day, Reverend Dr. Father Sabur Thomas. His aim is to educate, empower, and enlighten. Father Sabu is a Catholic priest belonging to the Archdiocese of Kalasari, an inspirational professor and researcher, rhetoric preacher, motivational speaker, and a life coach and author of eight best selling books. He provides offline, online, entertaining, <coughs> and inspirational training programs, workshops, retreats for teachers, students, <coughs> parents, nuns, priests, all around the country and abroad. He shows them some real-life strategies to realize their goals and believe in potential within. Yes, impacted more than 10,000 students, college students, teachers, and gained competitive advantage to today's era of life through online, offline workshops, seminars, retreats, and motivational training program. He has set a record by training 14,000 teachers in seven months from 2023, June to December, through organizing 101 workshops on the topic Artificial Intelligence Tech Tools for Education, Challenges and Possibilities. He has also a set of legacy by training 4,000 teachers across the country in online mode in three months from June to August 2021 during COVID-19 lockdown days. His brief profile actually is by data running a few pages, but I have concised the small, short. He's a basically a decision priest from Thalaseri, teaching English as assistant professor at Sagarat College Tevara, Kochi. Born in 1975 in Kananur district, Kerala, joined St. Joseph's Minor Seminary in the year 1991 after schooling, pursued his bachelor degree in philosophy at Pontifical Institute of Karmelgiri, Alwa. Then he pursued his M.E. in English Literature in Loyola College. He was ordained a priest in 2002. He's got a wide experience, he's a multifaceted personality. He's in charge of Jesus Youth Movement in Sagrada College Tevara, which launched their various social work related initiatives for which the college has received the national award for the best Catholic college in India that promotes Christian values from Xavier Code of Higher Education, India. Through his program, EduCare trained 30 underprivileged and slow learning students of the nearby Sagrada College School in two years and gave them all past grade 10 to the best result. This is one of his great achievements for his interest in the downtrodden people. During COVID-19 lockdown days, he has organized program titled EDGE, which trained around 60 girl students of class 10, six different schools in Kochi, in online mode for 30 hours and empowered them with the life skills. He has organized many workshops. I am just mentioning only the number. Online workshop for teachers conducting conducted during 2021 June August 31 motivational training programs 
like for college school teachers 200 motivational training program for parents 47 motivational training at colleges 67 motivational program at school level 62 annual retreat in parishes 78 so we have in our midst Sam Thomas with us today to share his knowledge on artificial intelligence. We hope you enjoy and benefit of out of Welcome you, Father. Thank you, sir. I'm very much happy to announce that we are releasing a new topic. Advanced AI Tools for Educators and Researchers, Volume 1. I kindly request Rev. Dr. A. Lewis R. K. Raj, Father, Principal of Royal College, to release this book and hand over the first copy to the AI man, Sabu Thomas. to have Reverend Dr. B. Jairaj, Father, the Secretary and Correspondent of Loyola College in MS. Father, your support and your smile has always motivated us to achieve great things. I welcome you, Father, to felicitate the gathering. Dr. Louis Parkaraj, our principal, Reverend Father Sabu Thomas, the chief guest of today's sessions, and the A specialist, because after listening to the web data, Dr. Father Sabu Thomas is very thrilled that he is studying the English literature, but he has a very much, very much uh, developed the tools, English tools, very AI tools. Supposed to be for comparing computer science <laughs> uh, stuff. Normally, AI tools are uh, generated by the computer science stuff. But I'm very, very happy that Father has taken so diverse and then so many uh, seminars he has uh, the camps he has been attended and he has given to the staff, students. Wonderful, I am happy. Yes, and I want to appreciate that for having invited such a great eminent personality in our midst to give us talk on AI. Dr. Sarvanayagam, the director of LIFE, Dr. John Milton, the head of the Department of Zoology, Dr. V. Pushparani, the Convener uh, of this uh, today national workshop and uh, professors, as a department officials from our college and uh, from other institutions, and ladies and gentlemen. I'm extremely happy to be here at the inaugural session of the today's workshop. Advance us a tool for educators and researchers. Now everybody is very much talking about artificial intelligence. 
must have seen just a few days back that Alaida College assigned an MOU uh, with the Movit Technologies to set up an AI lab in our college. So within 45 days, you'll have an AI lab in our college. And at that time, the principal gave a wonderful uh, message uh, to the uh, media. I think it was there uh, in the Puri Talamare. You could listen to that. Beautifully explained. What is the use of the game? And we are also, we are also running an another small, uh, small certificate program for this and other academic activities for the principal child. Now, on my behalf, the tools have their own advantages and disadvantages. You have to keep in mind both. With this, uh, many of you know, like automation, it will reduce our much work, the work and it also reduce the human error. And then it is also will be available all the time, 24 7. Like the human beings, we will not be available all the time, we will be sleeping. <laughs> but it is a, it is available all the time. So, like this, there are many positive aspects of the, of the A tools, which are definitely, Father Sambu will be talking to you. And there's also a bit of disadvantages. I don't say negatives, disadvantages, which we do, we just keep in mind. Uh, very much talked about really the noise. People say that it will reduce the workforce and hope because many of like in, for, uh, the the eight woods can do ten people are hundred people hours, I do not know. So it will reduce the so companies will start reducing the number of people. So that is the one uh, the disadvantage. Then the second one people say it is a uh, not creative. You cannot replace a human mind. Human mind is always is creative, but not a uh, cannot be creative. It only can give what is input there. It is I have I have got an experience. I uh, I used to use chat GPT, many of you know, the way it was. So when I would I ask please list give a uh, all the topics the latest Please give. Then at the end, it gives a sentence which I want you to understand. It says, I can give only up to 2022, <laughs> but the 23 data is not available. <laughs> it's what he said. That means it can, it can only tell us what we have, but humans have put it there. So the creativity of human beings cannot be overcome by angels. So once the, we under, uh, understand the importance of A tools. Let's also keep in mind the, the, the disadvantages of the tools and then use it appropriately. And that's what important. Doesn't mean because we don't use it. But keep in mind both the aspects of it. And hence, I really wish this uh, workshop nicely. It's not only put as a conference workshop. I hope they will be able to give you a practical knowledge about it. So I wish uh, the one once again, the organizers all the best. For all the participants, very, very fruitful uh, workshop for these two days. Thank you very much. Thank you, Father. I'm also happy to have, we are also happy to have Father A. Louis Arikaraj. Respected <clears throat> Chief Guest of the Day, Dr. Sabu Thomas, Reverend Father Jairaj, Secretary, HOD, Director of Life, and the convener of this uh, national workshop, Dr. Pushparani, 
and their esteemed staff and students of some students from other research institutes other places, and other well wishers who have come this morning for this workshop we welcome i take this as a great privilege to have in our midst the esteemed person who has not merely knowledge alone of ai but also has a entire experience of having gone through this ai Thomas, who will be the person who will help us in this workshop? I think we are fortunate to have him here for this workshop, and we are very happy to have you, Father. And I am sure your interventions will really enthuse every one of us, including us. If I have time, I feel like sitting and doing uh, a workshop, but it may not be so. Uh, which will be a great help for us at this point of time particularly in this uh, no context today recently you know, i would like to highlight two events one is our parent teachers meeting that we held recently i think last week and we had the so many parents of our students who have come for that meeting both in shift 1 as well as in shift 2 uh, importantly one of the questions uh, of the some of the parents were about how are we goela college is helping our student community today to become relevant and contextualized particularly in terms of using of technology and ai tools then i told them already even before attending this conference the last one and two months we have been attending several conferences and workshops just to give a this a motivational talk like this in almost all the departments in our campus almost one and a half months we have been uh, having several workshops organized by several departments which means ai has become relevant and part of us not only in the department of uh, zoology or like or any social science or uh, but also in language and uh, even other activities uh, club activities or uh, other research programs and activities and so on so it has become part of us so that is the context we are in but without knowing much deeper into what ai is we have just you know been talking about it listening to it and so on i am sure this workshop through father saul thomas will give us enlightenment will give us an experiential learning of what it is how it is how we need to use it how we need how we need to take it forward for our educational purpose as you have rightly put particularly for educators and researchers how are we going to take it forward it is a challenge for us and it is the need of the hour so i wish all the best for the success of this workshop let it not just become another ed program in any department like having a workshop but i am sure it will touch the lives of every one of us and i am sure later on when these researchers and these students when you become scholars and scientists this ai tools will be a great help and particularly this conference will give you that enthusiasm and orientation focus interest to take lot of initiatives in this line so that we become updated to the current uh, uh, context and probably when you become uh, scientists and uh, scholars uh, who are in the forefront probably this will uh, be a good seed for you to take off in this uh, deliberations in the ai tools you know that is first thing that i want to uh, drive home to every one of us as we begin this workshop the second one as uh, father rightly said just uh, last week uh, with a lot of difficulties and a lot of uh, discussions and the clarity with the movec technologies we signed the mou with regard to uh, establishing robotics lab in our uh, campus and it will be no handful the uh, and uh, will be uh, helped by our computer science and the data science department and uh, the professors there who have been uh, instrumental uh, in having some basics about ai and who are taking it forward and this lab will surely help us 
not only for sharpening our mind in the present need of the hour AI. It will help us to give new insights and it will give us a new impetus and a help for taking up initiatives to carry it forward as educators, as researchers. It should not get stagnant here. And uh, it may be a starting point and it will lead us to many more uh, findings and the uh, usage and uh, uh, in different fields. No? Already people have talked about it in medical field, in the research forum, in uh, for teaching, in uh, researchers and all that, uh, in medical, uh, uh, in animal world and all that. It will be a great help and even to you know, help our student community, you know, even to know and understand the ethos, the thinking pattern, the current trend of the students and accordingly help you know, the students also is a matter of concern to AI. I think probably these initiatives, maybe Robotics Lab is one such a small uh, initiative and which will help us to sharpen the mind and then give us new orientations and insights towards innovations which will be a great, great help for the humanity. And ultimately, these are have to be you know, uh, considered in terms of uh, the social responsibility or the impact that it will have on the society today and in the future. Why do we do research? Why, do, why you know, what is the purpose of our education? It is not merely to get a degree. It should help the society in whatever way possible today and then tomorrow in the future. I am sure this workshop will give us that uh, enthusiasm, that orientation, uh, that uh, you know, initiative among us so that it will become a very relevant uh, program uh, for us to contribute to the society to future or even today. So in that way, I would like to really appreciate the organizers for having taken up this particular AI tool for this workshop and particularly for educators and researchers. How are we going to be innovative? How are we going to make our researchers relevant? It's very, very important. We could make a difference. You know? As I was uh, telling, as I was coming over, already sir told you, told you what I was uh, thinking about AI. I always consider no, uh, there is no substitute for our human mind. Even these, all these AI tools are uh, found by you know, uh, the human mind. So I would consider that they are all extension you know, and they can never be a substitute for the human mind or human person. Come what may, there is no substitute for human being, human thinking, human relationships. All these are cannot become a substitute but they can only be a extension and these extensions should help us to move forward with intelligence, move forward with a lot of uh, emotional well-being, it should move forward with the environmental well-being. I think that should be the orientation for us as educators and the researchers. Once again, I heartily thank and appreciate the organizers and welcome all of you. Have a fruitful learning which will create a new society with a lot of innovations and the new insights. Wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you, Father. I now invite Dr. V. Pusparani, the convener of this workshop, to elaborate the thematics of this national workshop. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I don't want to take much time of Calgary. We are running short of time. Just I want to think of uh, certain things about our workshop. And I'm thrilled to be here to introduce the theme of our upcoming workshop, that is Advanced A Tools for Educators and Researchers. Over the next few minutes, I will provide a brief overview of what we can expect from these two days event and why it is so important in today's rapidly evolving research, educational and research. First and foremost, let us about why advanced AI tools are such crucial topic for educators and researchers. An artificial intelligence will become driving force behind the innovation in various fields, including education and research, medical and agriculture. With the ability to analyze vast amount of data, recognize the patterns and make in informed decisions. AI tools have the potential to revolutionize the way we teach, learn, and conduct research. During this workshop, 
we will also introduce deep into the world of advanced AI tools and explore the application in education and research settings. From personalized learning, their applications for the students, teachers, and scholars to accelerating research process and uncovering valuable insights, the possibility of offered by artificial intelligence are truly endless. This workshop, we will delve into the transformative power of artificial intelligence in shaping the future of learning and academic exploration. AI is the way to educator to teach and researcher to investigate. Throughout these two days, we will uncover the latest advancement, sharp practical insights, and discuss how these tools can enhance teaching effectiveness and streamline research process. Get ready, harness to the potential of AI to unlock the new possibilities in education and research. Over the course of two days, we will cover the wide range of topics, including the basis of AI in education and research, advanced technique for data analysis, and the ethical consideration <coughs> that comes with the integrating AI into our work. We will have the opportunity to learn from leading experts in the field, participate in the hands-on workshop and the demonstration, and connect with the peers and first professional with us. The following tools will be covering during the workshop. I think Father will deliver a lot of things regarding the tool I don't want to say right now. Finally, I want to emphasize just how valuable this workshop will be for educators and researchers and students looking to stay ahead for the curve in an increasing artificial intelligence. Whether you are a seasoned person or just starting out in your career, there is something here for everyone. So get ready to dive in, explore the possibilities, and take your work to new heights and advanced AI tools. Thank you all for your presence. Once again, I welcome you all for the two days national hands-on training, and I encourage you to stay happy time at Loyola College. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. We have reached the end of this inauguration program. I request Dr. Balachandra, Assistant Professor of Department of Advanced Biology and Biotechnology, to propose the word of thanks. Respected Reverend Father, Principal, and Secretary, now I will esteem the professors and from other college participants and this research scholars, a delighted morning to all of you. <coughs> I feel incredibly honored and privileged to get the opportunity to propose a word of thanks on this special occasion. This is a momentous day in our college's history as we are hosting this grand two days national workshop on advanced tools for educators and researchers for the first time in our city at Roxo. First and foremost, I'd like to thank our Lord Almighty for his benevolent blessings on all of us. My sincere thanks goes to our Reverend Father Secretary and Principal who felicitated us and blessed us <coughs> on this morning. On behalf of our college, the whole fraternity, I sincerely thank our chief guest Reverend Father, Sabu Thomas, Assistant Professor, Department of English, Sarada College, Kochi, for his time, for his busy schedule, and gracing the occasion with his warm presence. I hope his speech will enlighten us in these days to come. My sincere thanks to Dr. M. C. John Milton, HOD, Department of Zoology, for his constant help and guidance that radiated a source of energy within us. We will never remain grateful to you and we thank you for being with us today, sir. I am very much thankful to Dr. M. Selvanayam, sir, Life Director and co-convener of this great event. Words are not enough to thank for your constant guidance and support, sir. I want to extend my warm regards and heartiest congratulations <coughs> to our 
புலவர் ப்ரொஃபஸர் டாக்டர் வி புஷ்பராணி ஆந்தி இவன் கோ கல்வியில் ஐ சல்யூட் யுவர் விஷன் அண்ட் எபிலிட்டி டு பாப்புலரைஸ் த லேட்டஸ்ட் டெக்னாலஜி ஆஃப் ஐ டூல்ஸ் ஃபார் அவர் ஸ்டூடெண்ட் கம்யூனிட்டி ஐ மெரி விட் ஸ்டாங்கிள் ஃபார் ஆல் தி பிலவட் ஃபேக்கல்டிஸ் ஆஃப் அவர் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் அண்ட் லைஃப் ஸ்டாஃப்ஸ் ப்ரொஃபஸர்ஸ் அண்ட் தி டாஸ்க் ஃபோர்ஸ் ஃபார் எக்ஸ்டெண்டிங் யுவர் சப்போர்ட் டு சக்ஸஸ் ஆஃப் திஸ் ப்ரோக்ராம் I am also thankful for all the program advisory committee members and the invited speakers and last but not least I want to extend a word of thanks to our organizing secretaries and organizing committee members led by Mr. Anthony and co. So without their hard work it won't be possible for us to have a great event held today i also cannot overlook the efforts of our department committee members and the volunteer student community for supporting this and a special thanks to all the participants from the city and all over tamil nadu and country for sparing your valuable time and taking effort to learn these new advanced technologies if time is money then today you have spent millions for us thank you all for coming together for taking valuable interest in learning these techniques thank you one and all have a great day ahead thank you thank you sir I request you all to kindly rise up for the national anthem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 